that he is a senator of the Federal Republic. But he also knows my position. And he knows that I have the right not to see him. Yes, Your Majesty. You have every right not to see him. But you should also understand that it's not just about you. It's about the political goodwill that the entire kingdom stands to get with his presence. Um, and in the event that he wins the forthcoming presidential elections, Your Majesty, he will not fail to remember that we welcomed him at a time like this. Um, Your Majesty, it is true. No man will be comfortable if he sees a fellow man badge into his compound like this. But I must not fail to lend my voice to what Ichie, Anya and uh, Ichi Oyaka have just said. Let us invite him in. Your Majesty, please meet with him. Honey, go find out what the problem is. I noticed you couldn't keep your eyes off me, so I thought I'd come say hi. Well, that's nice of you. I'm doing that by name. My friends call me Lou. My friend over is Brown. Hey, Lou, Lou, Lou. I can introduce myself, okay? Um, sorry, dear. Like he said, my name is Brown. I'm in third year. I'm so lucky. <laughs> okay. So now that we've all introduced ourselves, you don't mind if I make a call, do you? It's okay, feel free. Hey, Dad. I'm fine. So, Daddy, I'm standing in front of Leo and Brown. That's if that's their real names, by the way. And I'm wondering, why are they mopping at me? Hey, what are you talking about? Shh, shh, don't you mind? I'm on the call, so just shh, shh, shh. It's okay. Yes, Daddy? All right, my dear. I give up. I know you're a very smart girl. But what I didn't know is that you were going to bust their cover this quick. I also know that you are mad at me. But please, I want you to understand that this loving father of yours is just doing his best to protect his only daughter. 
You know, that is such a long story. Could you please cut it short for me? What are they doing moping at me like fools? My dear, I am a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And by my standard of society, you as my daughter stand the risk of being kidnapped. Then I have told you times without number to, to, to keep your goons off me. Allow me to live my life like a normal student. <laughs> my dear, my dear, listen to me. I am a politician. And one of the occupational hazards of what I do as a politician is to have political opponents and enemies. And as you can see, I am on my way to becoming the next president of this country. So I should be worried that those that are not happy about my success might want to harm you. Call them off my back. Would you want? Why don't you? see reasons with me over this matter because I will forgive myself should anything happen to you. I won't. Okay, you don't want to call them off my back. Don't worry daddy, I will do it by my damn self. And you know how nasty I can get? Thank you daddy, thank you so very much. Oh. Now, both of you, if you know what is good for you, you keep your miserable ass off my back. Get a life or something. Um, I'm sorry, sir. If the king does not want to see you, let's not waste further time here. We still have a lot to do, sir. Call you. Sir? The vulture is a very patient bird. Yes, you may be my very dependable assistant, but a whole lot, there are a whole lot you have to learn. If he doesn't want to see me, it's okay. But you see, in life, it's always fun to watch people try to strike a balance between what money can do and their sense of morality. I don't understand, sir. Never mind. It will all come to you in due time. Be patient. trying to remind you that it is your duty as a traditional ruler to be father to all. This court is expected to play host to all and sundry without prejudice. Igwe, a child does not refuse to answer a call, but could refuse to uh, go to an errand. Let us go ahead and welcome the senator. Let us hear what he has to say. If what he says is good for us, we welcome it. But if on the contrary, we will reject. Yes, um, Your Majesty. Our people say, if you want to show a toad resting on a stone to a child, you have to point it out clearly. Because their shapes are more often than not the same. Yes, what I am trying to say is that if there is any reason you don't want to see that man, Your Majesty, I think it is important for us to also know about it. Well, I have heard all you have to say. I have one question. Do you want us to host Senator Chigozia Agwoncha? He is our visitor. But if 
he will feel strongly against hosting him. Then, we would like to know so as not to make mistakes. Sir, with due respect, sir, it is totally unacceptable keeping a man of your status waiting this long. It is condescending, sir. Kani. Sir? Did anybody make an appointment for us to see the king? Mm, no, sir. Meaning that we're not here on appointment? So? It's obvious he never made any arrangement to host us. But I can tell you that as things are right now, I can bet my life that he's trying to sort out things to enable him to give me a befitting welcome. Uh, but, sir... Uh... Kani, once again, be patient. You see, if you must survive in the rough political terrain of this country, you must learn to be wise and patient. The distinguished senator of the Federal Republic. How are you, Ichie? Fine, thank you. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. <laughs> you are welcome. Thank you. Uh, the king will now see you. Oh, really? Yes. So you can come down. Let's go inside. Very well then. Nigeria, Miss Africa, Miss World, World War War World Miss, the most beautiful girl. Come on. Baby, hey. what's the girl? Hey, what? What with the fierce baby? Come on, I don't like the look. Come on, baby. You know, envy this serious frown. What a go on? What would the look, baby? What a go on, baby? What's up with my face? Come on, baby, me know this face. I love him fierce, I will put smile, I will put time, and now the way it look. <laughs> if man I go bring a gun near this face, kaboom, it go blow. So me know that. So what I want? What the front? Can you tell me? You know one of them boys or two of them could have been responsible for this face front? Maybe what I want with the boys? Sydney, do you know them? Mm, not really. You know, school thing. Beside them, we'll leave a time all the time, but I shall with them once. What about with them, baby? No, I was just curious. Curious? Curious. I was just curious. What's up? Our 10 o'clock lecture, is this still holding? Lecture no hold no more. Oh, yeah. Went to the cafeteria to fill up my stomach, sat the rep, and he said the lecture and I go come. So no lecture. Is that right? So what's going on? Okay, just find some way to chill and clear my head. A chilling team, we love some chilling team. You could have ride along with the most beautiful. Come on, baby. Well, get over here. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah.
take care of your courage. Nobody cares what is happening to you. Hmm? <laughs> and even if I shoot you right here, nobody will ever have reason to cut your defense. Walk with me, and now smile. <laughs> smile! <laughs> smile, baby, smile, alright? Smile, just calm down. No, 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 If put in position, this country will benefit optimally from your administration. It is further evidence that if you become president, we shall grow mightily from strength to greater strength. As usual, your words are what you must have. Let me just quickly add to what I have said earlier on. That I uh, make you and your people a solemn promise that you will continuously occupy your place in my heart. Kani! Sir! Uh, your Majesty. You shouldn't have done this. We, we don't really need it. It's a gift. Your Majesty, tradition demands that when a man of my status is coming to see someone like you, he don't come empty-handed. Please, please, do a service from me. <laughs> this thing is Senator of the Federal Republic. On behalf of this council, I want to thank you for this magnanimity. It's a proof that if you become the president, nobody in this kingdom, in the country at large, will suffer hunger. Yes, so, we will support you. <laughs> it be good. Thank you. I should, I should be the one thanking you people you know, for making our time within this short period of time you know, to be here to receive you. Thank you, Walter. Your Majesty. Well, thank you for coming. May you always be blessed. Be safe.
Excuse-moi. Easy, easy, easy. Thank you. Thank you so much. You just saved me from a deadly criminal. Thanks. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. It's alright. It's okay. It's okay. Let, listen, 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 listen. Let's just keep this between us, right? Okay. Yeah. I'll keep it in my heart. What if he's dead? What? Oh, no, no. He, he, uh, I don't think. I don't think he can just die like that. Just, don't say that. Okay? <laughs> Are you still scared? No. No. instructed that under no circumstances should you be disturbed until after your meeting with the party star was oh shut up you fool even if i gave that order don't you know that certain things must take precedence over others i'm sorry general shut your pie hole up tell me what happened sorry my foot They said his body was found behind the school building with a gun in his hand and wrote a written on his forehead. And what is it? It's believed to be the signature of one of the numerals secret cult on campus. Those that call themselves adventurers. And for God's sake, what was my son doing with a gun in his hands? I don't know, sir. But the school authority believe he's a cultist my son was not a cultist my son had higher dreams he had higher goals he had clearer visions and he couldn't have stooped so low as to become a common campus cultist my son was not a cultist is that clear yes sir i know the situation we hurt us politically, so I had to do my best to contain it. Whoever killed my sons must pay with his life. Your Majesty, 
You know, the Bangwine Taba does not say everything he sees while climbing the pine trees. I know that was the case with the senator's visit. But then, the cake of pan wine does not cease to bend over so that those it knows will partake of its content. All right, check it, you're right. If I'm gonna do it, the cocoa yam does not squawk for nothing. That would be a cause. I know, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. I know. Well, you may remember many years ago that I contested for a seat in the State House of Assembly. Yes, I remember. I remember it as if it was yesterday. Oh, your father was very bitter with you. Not only my father, but all the people of the entire constituency. Because <sighs> only the grace of God that has wiped the memory of that in our hearts. Everybody believed that I collected money and stepped down for Ibekwe, who was then my opponent. Your Majesty, you refused to talk about it. And people believe what was open to them. But is there any connection between what happened then and Senator's visit? Check it. Now, sign. How much were you paid for this? I'm asking you, Chigozi. Damn it, I worked hard for this, Chigozi. If I, I don't call the shots. I'm only someone's political foot soldier. And believe me, I will not hesitate to pull the trigger if you refuse to sign this document. My job here is very simple. I give you the papers, and you sign. You give me the papers, and I sign. What if I don't? <laughs> well, that's when his job starts. And please. Don't make it easy for him to forget a blade in your head. And nobody knows you are here. Believe me, it did not take him and his colleagues anything to hack your body into pieces and feed your flesh to the dogs. Who am I standing down for? At least, I deserve to know. Well, I don't know. Nobody knows yet. Sign the papers. Give me the pen. <laughs> we are getting some here. That was how I lost out on an election in which I had the mandate of virtually all the people. Well, I didn't go to the house then to represent my people. But today, people from even beyond my immediate community and trust me with critical decisions concerning their lives and the welfare of their people. did because he had no option, not because he wanted to. And truth must be told, it is killing him inside that he had to come to me for help, knowing what he did to me. But Your Majesty, what about the money he gave to us? Don't you think that he might try to implicate us in a bribe scandal? When I said we didn't need it, 
I saw the look on the, all your faces. So I allowed you to collect what you offered. As for me, I returned mine immediately through the palace guards. No, you have to learn to live with it. You have to bear the consequences. This is serious. Serious. Hey, what about General Your Majesty? Oh, General Jack? Oh yes. He still has my full support. My full support, total support. Everything has been messed up. Simply because I listened to you. When you introduced that guy to me, I felt it was the kind of guy I wanted for that job. How could he attempt kidnapping someone in that school in broad daylight? I mean, just look at it. Isn't that the heart of madness? Why don't we kidnap her ourselves? You want us to go to that school to kidnap someone who has been alerted to the fact that people are after her? You know she lives in a secret area. She had the hands out. Now what I want you to do right now is to tell me how do you suggest we do that? Frank, listen to me. All we need to do is to kidnap her. It doesn't matter where we do it. Okay? I wouldn't want us to feel... What do we tell our principal if we fail to kidnap the girl? We don't need to tell him anything. Let's just find a way and do it. Necessary to stop by see you before I uh, go back to Abuja. Daddy, you know you didn't have to come. I'm fine. I know you're fine. I know. But I want you to understand that Daddy's a little too old in the affairs of men to believe in coincidences. Hmm? I don't understand. Yes, my daughter, you know, nobody will try to um, whip you during school hours. And not in broad daylight. Keep your voice down, please. You were talking about raping. People are listening. Uh, Besides, why? what else can my student learn from me? What about the young man that saved you? 
Well, I don't know how you got all this information, but the young man in question doesn't want to be mentioned. And you might know him, but I'm not telling. Well, I just want to see him, thank him, okay, for saving my daughter. Again, I heard um, the guy who wanted to kidnap you is dead. Don't you think he's enough reason to pull you out of this call? What? Mm. And how did you get all this information? Oh, never mind, my dear, okay? Never mind. I have a flight to catch, okay? Just take care of yourself, okay? I looked everywhere for you today on campus. Why weren't you in school? You will not believe what happened this morning. What happened? I woke up and I went outside to get something from my car. Mm -hmm. Guess who I saw standing by the door? Who? Oh. My dad. Wow! That's great! Great? Come on! He knows I don't like him coming around. I'm not a daddy's girl for one, and secondly, I don't want to be seen around here. That's the senator's daughter. Joa. That's not enough reason for you not to have been in school today. No, not really. I just needed some peace and quietness to clear my head. <sighs> okay, you wouldn't have gotten that in school because of the death of the culty. What? Hmm. Someone died? Yeah. It was called Thunder. It's a dear lost to them, yeah. I gathered he was killed by members of another cult group. And the whole school right now is a gog. Oh my goodness. That is tragic. Very tragic. How long will you be here? Are you still around? Are you okay? Yeah. Why are you asking? Um I, I just need to see somebody real quick. Excuse me.
Yeah, who is this? I have your ID card with me. Which is the only piece of evidence that clearly shows that you murdered Mark Jane. The son of General Jack. Who is this? If you don't stay away from the jail, about this little piece of evidence will get to some people who are able to know the mother of Mac Jack. I am very serious. You won't stay away. Royal Majesty Igwe Ifai Chuku Enokora, who is also the Chairman South East Council of Traditional Rulers and a rallying point for the people of the region, pays glowing tribute to the sterling leadership qualities and multi generational developmental strides of. Senator Chibi. You don't expect me to approve that for publication, do you? Get back to work. I want something catchier. Something that will leech on the consciousness of the people and never let go. And be fast about it. I want it on time to go to the press. This must be in the news first thing tomorrow morning. Look, I am not a cultist. I didn't mean to kill him, it was an accident. Come on, you were there. You witnessed what happened. It was an accident. Maybe we should report ourselves to the police and the school authority. And what do you think will happen to us? We charge the court. And? And we'll get a lawyer. Or lawyers to argue our case. And then we'll put all of this behind us. Well, I wish I share your optimism, but reality check, my dear, it's not that simple. Now, if this guy was who I hear he was, his fellow cult members will shoot you faster than you can spell the word lawyer. And then they're going to come after your family members and kill them. Oh, so what do we do? Nothing. Nothing. Listen, I cannot live with the guilt of being an accessory to murder for the rest of my life. I need closure on this. I need closure so I can move on with my life. Look, this... What happened back there wasn't murder. Alright? It wasn't murder. It was an accident. You saw it. I didn't mean to kill it. Talk like you, 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 were, you were blind or something. I was only trying to help you. I didn't mean to kill him. It was not murder. And like I said, do nothing. That's the only closure you can get.
Gava, I called your number, you did not pick, so I decided to knock. I'm here to collect that figure you took me about. You called me with a hidden number, woman. Ah, sorry, but I hid my number to call one girl, so I didn't realize it's still hidden. So can I collect the figure? No, no, no. no. Look, someone is looking for you. Take a look. Take a look. You need to leave now. All right, I'll call you when I think of a better plan. No. We need to talk this through. Or is there something you're not telling me? I'm not hiding anything. Just go. You know the kind of times we're in now. And I don't need to tell you what I've been able to achieve within a short period of time. And I give you a simple task to take care of. What did I get? Incompetence. Ineptitude. Now tell me, I want to hear your own side of the story. What happened? I am confused here, sir. You're confused? Why would you not be confused? When you could bungle a simple task, as simple as a fake kidnap attempt scare on my daughter. I've heard about it. Someone called me from the campus to tell me. How did somebody get killed? Uh, sir, we have not even done the kidnap. Since you said you don't want the boys in the campus to pull the heat. So I, I am still watching everywhere to know the right time to. Are you trying to tell me here that someone else attempted to kidnap my daughter? Yes, sir. That's what it looks like. And the guy that was killed was not sent by you? Affirmative, sir. I want to know who it is that's after my daughter. In as much as I know it might be to my advantage politically, I still want to know who it is that has the courage to dare me. every contact we have and I want answers real fast
sorry if it's tattoo. You, you okay? No, I'm fine. Just relieved it's you. You sure? Yeah. Babe, I think you look frightened. What are the problem? You sure you okay? You got a problem, baby. Tell the Rasta. Rasta around things. Someone was killed in campus. Hmm. And he was a cultist. And now, I hear his fellow cult members are threatening to unleash mayhem in campus. So you just never know. I had to start on Baby, is it me no care about them cult boys and them problems? I think Rasta come to the school to study strictly. Could I turn a doctor? Turn a liar? I even could have turned, you know, fly the aeroplane. That is my own passion. Uh -huh. Said, so, no, get time for that bit of business. Ranting. I told me, girl, to the class site, you say, me could have said hi. Oh, nice. Hmm? Okay. Yeah, Maybe. No. Never mind them. Now, listen to me. We are talking about my son here. My first son. You are the vice chancellor of that university. And I strongly hold you and the entire university community responsible for the death of my son. I want you to tell me how it happened and who the killers of my son are. The sooner that information is made available, the better. Hello. This is General Jeremiah Joseph Jack, retired speaking. Officer, how far have you gone with the investigation? What? How dare you tell me that you have little evidence? Listen, officer, am, 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 am I supposed to make evidence available to you? Look at you. Your counterparts abroad will, with as little as a strand of hair, nail a crime suspect. Oh, am I supposed to buy equipment for you? Has it come to that? Huh? Oh, sorry, my foot. Sorry, my foot, officer. I want you to find the killers of my son and bring them to book. to know everything that is happening. Leave your school immediately and come down to Abuja as soon as possible. In fact, take the first flight tomorrow morning and meet me up in my hotel room. No hug for you. Oh, 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 oh. I'm hugging you guys. You. Oh, 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 oh. So, what's going on? What's the gossip? Gossip? Yeah, gossip. Which gossip? Don't even deny it, all right? Because uh -huh. you're sitting here, you know, carrying any book, so you're definitely gossiping. In fact, you were so engrossed in the gossip that you forgot about me. You, if you want to join in this conversation, okay. just say so now. Eh? Don't come with this whole attitude. Okay, all right. Well, may I please? Join in the gossip. Good. Amen. Yeah, I was just telling you yeah, that once they start shooting in school, I would not waste the before traveling to my village because none of these are cheap bullets. It's going to find refuge in my body. 
And who is going to start shooting? Please. Caught members of the dead guy. And they've planned to wipe out everybody that is in connection with his death. The school is hot now. And I also, I also heard that his father is a retired army general. Hmm? And he's putting a lot of pressure on the school authority to find the killers of his dead son. Oh my god. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. Well, but you know, Abby, you you are bad. You surprise me. It baffles me how you get all your news. I'm sure NTO will be <laughs> most honored to have you as their reporter. Mm. You're bad, you Juma, know. You're bad. If that's a compliment, mm, I will take it. Mm -hmm. But if it's not, I have to sing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now she's laughing. What's funny? You know, Abby, you think it's actually what you're saying that's making me laugh. So, like, like, <coughs> you know, Ujuma is right about you. You should consider working with NCA. It will work for you because you like a Let's go. Are you going to get out of here or what? Let me join you. Ah, stay. 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 Are you coming? Hey. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hello? What are you doing? No, 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 no. <laughs> my babe. I did, I did school, I did behind science class. And now. <laughs> they come, they come, they come. Ow. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. Okay. Were you actually coming to see me or just passing by? Um, <clears throat> I need your help. Wow! This is serious. Oh my god. I can't believe you could possibly be needing my help. <sighs> okay. So, how may I help you, Mr. Handsome? Uh, look, I, I, I know you're good with communication stuff. There's a cell phone number I need you to help me trace. Hmm? And if I do it, what will be in for me? How much do you want? Come on, IK. You know I don't need your money. You know exactly what I want. Oh, babe. babe, I have a girlfriend. There is no way I can cheat on my girlfriend by going out with you. Nobody likes being cheated on. This girl is not asking to go out with you. Just this side kind of thing where we hang out, stuff like that. Come on, Ike. You're making me doubt those guys that tell me how beautiful I am. And how much they want to go to bed with me. Oh, oh yes, you are beautiful. I don't blame those guys, right? but that's not the point here. Can you help me? All right. I see this is really important. I'll do it for a weekend. Yeah, a weekend with you, just you and I. That's the deal. Take it or leave it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Fine, you win. I take it. Good. So, can I have the number? <clears throat> All right. Here's the deal. This guy called me with a hidden number. Yeah. So... Ike, come on. I know I'm good, but not good enough to track hidden numbers. Jesus. Ah, oh, there goes my weekend with you. Anyway, there's still hope. If you can accept to spend a weekend with me, that means you can as well go out with me. But what kind of trouble are you in? Are you doing it or not? What is going on is simple. You are blocking my way right now. You shouldn't be attracting attention to us, please. Oh yeah, why is that? 
because we should not be seen together. Stay away from me. Really? Really? I should stay away from you? Okay, now. If you had anything reasonable in this thick skull of yours, you would know that this whole thing started because you were not smart enough to stay away from me. What? Tracy, I was only trying to help you. And I don't remember asking for your help. You ingrate. Listen, someone witnessed the incident. What? Oh, yes. And he's got my school ID card. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. Act like we're not talking. All right, just act like we're not talking. It is only a matter of time before he makes a demand, which I'm not sure I can meet up with. And he's going to blow the whistle on us. Get it? See? I told you, the best we can do in this situation is to report ourselves to the police. And then we're going to have ourselves at war on two fronts. On one side, we're going to have Max court members. And on the other side, his armor general of a father. And I don't think any police or any lawyer in this world can save us from their combined wrath. Simple. Well, my father can buy us anything. Look, I don't want to hear anything about your father. <sighs> For the last time. Act like we're not talking, right? Stay away from me until I can find a better hey, way to hey, handle hey, this. Let me tell you something. If you know what is good for you, you will stop telling me to stay away from you because you got me in this mess. Jesus. Did you just hear yourself? Huh? Did you just hear yourself? Like, I, I got you into this? Mm -hmm. No way. Hold it. I'm not going to get angry because I know your type. Oh, really? You know my type? Okay. Where is my type? Where am I? I'm trying to be... Hey, sit down. Oh, baby. I don't go man I live up. Only Rasta man live. Baby, what are you doing? Hey, Rasta man. Hey, I'm cool. What's the word, baby? Hmm. The most beautiful and the one fine boy. Put up the come on, put up a smile now. What the fun? <laughs> you hear that? Come on. Baby. You left for the class. has accepted to join the rest of my family in the UK. Hey, it's okay. Don't. I want you to help us secure an admission into one of the best schools over there. Good. Sydney, I signed what you told me on the phone. Is there any other thing I need to know? Well, sir, in the story of what happened should leak out. Your daughter will be in trouble. And the boy that saved her? The same thing will happen to the boy. 
So, what is your general appraisal of the whole situation? Well, considering the fact that the deceased happens to be the son of General Jack, your political opponent, the case is even more severe. So we'll have to do all that we can to contain everything. Another one, sir. The members of his secret cult had vowed that they would kill whosoever that killed him. So, this is your area of specialization. By your assessments, how do we contain it? <coughs> well, I have structured our plans to separate Ujunwa from the boy. Also create a situation that will make it clear that Ujunwa was not there on the day of the event. Hmm. That sounds a little reassuring. Go on, I'm listening. And, uh, just in case the story should leak in any way, the boy will be the fall guy. But, uh, let me ask. Does she get along very well with the boy? They are both in the same faculty. They are all in the same faculty. Who, who is this boy in question? His name is Ikenna Enukara. The son of His Royal Majesty Igwe. If I eat Chuku and a car. Hold on, Zimmy. Hold on. Did you say the boy's name is Ikenna Enukora? Prince Ikenna. Are you sure about what you just said to me now? I am certain. Is he bad news? No. Everything is just fine. I do not know how we descended so low. Our ivory towers have changed from institutions of higher learning where students were nurtured in character and knowledge to become shameful terrorist camps and war colleges. Cultism is now the only thing, Your Majesty. This is what angers me in the whole issue. I have vehemently refused to accept that my son is a cultist. Because if I do, the school authorities will simply treat his death as an everyday thing. Besides, Your Majesty, it will deal a heavy blow to my political career. The shameful thing is that these young people are not fighting for the independence of a nation or even fighting for uh, oil blocks but they're just dying for nothing nothing your majesty i have put a lot of pressure on the police and the school authority to fish out my son's murderers You're welcome. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. General, 
That's my son, he can learn. He will soon be graduating from the prestigious University of the Southeast. Oh, really? Such a big boy now. Come. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Um, you must have heard of a student called uh, Mac Jack in the same university as you. He was murdered last week. Oh, 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 oh yes. Oh, yes. Oh, terrible. He was my son. It's only an animal that won't feel so disturbed when a fellow student gets murdered. I have been trying for years to get him out of that university and send him abroad to finish his education. But he wouldn't hear of it. I know many parents whose children keep pressurizing them to be sent abroad to study. But not my Ikenna. Really? Different strokes for different folks, you might say. I suppose so. Well, General, please again accept my heartfelt sympathy. This is a burden we all have to bear. Juma? Dad! Aren't you asking me to come in? Yeah, sure. You seem to have been frequenting here a lot lately. Yeah, well, this time around, I came to see you purposely. Me? Uh, yeah, but don't doubt your father, okay? Sit down. Come on. Sit down. Yes. You tried to convince me on the phone last night. Not do a wonderful job in it at all. My hunch only told me to abandon everything I was doing and come check on you. Well, Dad, that is so sweet of you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming. It's now that you're here, we can go back together. Like I told you on the phone, I am done with this girl. What's going on? Huh? You sound very desperate to be here. If there is nothing really wrong, you will be sounding this way. Talk to Daddy. Tell me what is going on. Okay, okay. You saw through me. I want a change of scene. I am. I guess I'm still shaken by the whole rape or kidnap attempt, whichever one it was. Daddy, I still get the creeps every time I go to the school compound uh, and it feels like... Down. It's over. Calm down. Calm down. There's really nothing to worry about. Okay? Now, I want you to know something. What happened was possible because I listened to you. But it is your turn to listen to daddy this once. What do you want me to do? You're gonna stay back here and finish your studies. What? I have spread the word. Whisper to every appropriate ears that should anything harmful 
consciously or unconsciously happen to you, heads will roll. Oh God. That wasn't necessary. Nothing too good to elaborate for my daughter. And I don't even want to be here for another day. Really? Yeah. You have no idea when he's coming back. No, I wouldn't know that. Well, I don't have any idea where he went to, but not to worry. As soon as he comes back, I'll let him know somebody as beautiful as you came looking for him. Hmm. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Remind me the name again, Felix. Adeze. Adeze. Tell him Adeze was here and he will understand. you know who is calling me. I have a task for you and I want you to handle it with more diligence and sense of purpose than you have ever given to any ten in your entire life. And what, ma and what makes you think I want to hear whatever you want to say or whatever you're up to? Huh? You don't have a choice here, do you? And the sooner you get that into your thick head, the better for you. Another thing, you need to stop asking stupid questions. Now, you can now. You have today and tomorrow to make your partner in crime fall in love with you. What? My partner? My partner in crime? What the bloody hell are you talking about? How, how the hell am I supposed to do that? And how is that supposed to be my problem? Did I remind you that failure to do that within a specified period would attract stiff and severe consequences? By the way, I don't even see how you're going to do that by running home. You cannot. Get your stupid body and soul back to school now. I'm a I gave you a simple tax. But up till now, you have not given me any good news. What is wrong with you, Butchi? General, sir, we could have done it. But the death of the student of that institution triggered a high level of security consciousness. And uh, we are bidding for more time for tensions to calm down. What is wrong with you? Was you kidnap her in school? about her house does she not go for shopping anymore does she not go to the beauty parlors again so a good number of plain clothes security men now go around with her and we don't want to make any mistakes Buchi, yeah. do you know the identity of the boy that was killed in that university no, sir. But I, I, I learned his name was Mache. Sam. Yes. 
tell him who Magjay was. The chief? Yes. Magjay is Mac Jack, the general's son. The what? I have lost something very dear to me. You will be a fool not to notice that I don't want any kind of failure from any of you. The only thing that will make me happy is to stop Senator Chigozier from clinching the party's nomination. Oh, shut up! You do not understand anything. Now, listen to me. I want Senator Chigozier's daughter kidnapped. That is the only thing that will show me that you understand. Do you understand? I've seen it already. I believe I know what you're talking about. Your Majesty, do you know that he's indirectly saying that you and the entire council have endorsed him as the Messiah everyone is looking for? You are surprised, but I'm not. I know that he's an evil wind that blows nobody any good. That was why on that day, I stated that I didn't want to receive him. But you and the others insisted that we must receive him. And unlike me on such occasions, I agreed. Now, we have brought it on ourselves. And we have to find the solution ourselves too. Your Majesty, I never knew it would get to this. After he came that day, as soon as he left, I asked the palace guards to return his money to him. I didn't want anything to do with his filthy money. Your Majesty, has General Jack seen this publication? I don't know. If he has, he did not disclose it. He was here not too long ago. Poor man. His son was murdered in school. Was murdered in school. This what politics is getting into. Hi, my God. Why should they murder the innocent boy? If they are actually after General, why didn't they go for him direct? Why murder this innocent boy? We are yet to learn the full details of the case. Indeed, I'll ask my son. Oh, my tell us what he just came back from school. Um, so if I see my daughter coming, then I can ask her to call him. <laughs> Long live your majesty. Ah, Vivian. Hello. Ichi, I am so welcome. Please call it Ken now. You need to find out something from him. Yes. I'm actually here to tell you that Iken has gone back to school. Iken has gone back to school? Why? What happened? He's only just arrived. He couldn't have just come back like that without even saying hello to me or letting me know. No. I guess something urgent came up and needed to go back to school. Something urgent? Well, we shall find out what this urgent matter is that took him back without a word to his father. And that's where you see that.
I'm handsome. This is my second time of coming. I guess I'm lucky to meet you this time. All right. So why are you here? Well, I just wanted to know what you were doing at the exit spots. McJay was killed the morning after his death. Are you insane? Hmm. I asked for an answer, not a question. Well, I do not know what you are talking about. Excuse me. Should I go on? <laughs> Because this one no bad at all. She don't come before. That time when she come in, I look her from here to toe. And I her like, say, yeah, bro, she don't enjoy. You don't enjoy anyhow. As it be, still the thing come. <laughs> this one when you could beat her inside. You won't do. His number several times, but this stupid machine keeps telling me the number you're trying to reach is not available at the moment. I don't understand the meaning of this. You know how bad network can be at times. Huh? Please keep trying, Your Majesty. What I don't understand is why you should come home and then leave suddenly. Without a word to me. It doesn't make sense. I'll try again later. Yes. The president has called me out. What were you talking about? <laughs> okay, now I see yours. So in love with my story. Adesia, I really don't have time for your theatrics right now. Right now, I am tired. I need to rest. So I suggest you say whatever you want to say. Now that I'm listening, say it quickly and get out. Fine. I believe you know where Mike was killed. All right, the next morning after he was killed, I found you at exactly that same spot. I did not attach much importance to it until you came asking me for help. And you would not be interested in tracing a telephone line if it's not something that serious. Mm. Well, nice. Brilliant story. I'm not finished. Or let's just assume that you lost something at that same point while fighting with Manjay. Are you insane? I'm not finished. Well, I think you're finished. You are finished. Get out of my house. Okay. I'll go. I can see that you're not in a good mood to listen to my story. It will interest my just fat members to know what I have to say. Oh, 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 wait, wait, hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on. What are you driving at? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. I see. 
Nothing. Nothing really. Just satisfying my curiosity. Curiosity? Well, you know what they say about curiosity and the cat? <sighs> if I remember what they said correctly, one killed the other. And that is what we're talking about here. Mm. Listen to me, Hades. Someone just died. All right? There is tension in the air. It is not wise for you to go around saying things that could incite unforeseen violence. Be rest assured, I won't ask anyone to turn violent. I will only tell my story. Whoa, 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 whoa. Senator Chigozier's daughter and the head of the person that killed my son. I'm so sorry, sir. Oh, you don't have to be sorry. You don't have to be. Because you will be sorry when I put a bullet through your head. Now, I am giving you one more week to get me Senator Chigozier's daughter and the person that killed my son. Get our life. Yes, sir. Get out. I got them for you. Especially for you. And you're gonna ask me to sit? Can I be have a situation in my hands and the best you can do is bring me a bunch of useless flowers? Are you alright? I mean, maybe I'm too fast, but is this flower in any way supposed to be a solution to our problem? Um, not right. Oh, okay, fine. You see, we have a problem. I know we have a problem. Trust me, I am working on it. Alright? You see, I read this book. And I learned from the book, when you are stressed, relax. Oh, yeah. So I just thought, you know, I got, um, I get you the flowers, we go out, relax, unwind, and we'll be fine. Seriously, are you all right? You came to take me out by this time of the day? Of course. What time is it? It is 7.30 in the morning. You know, unlike you, I don't need to read a book to know that you are getting very psychologically traumatized. I think you learned this situation hit you harder than you think. Oh no, I'm fine. Trust me, I have never been better. Believe me. You see, oh boy, these flowers, the guy told me they are the best. So I decided to get the best for you. And I think we... We, we have a problem. We killed someone. Don't you die? Okay, no. You killed someone. Alright? And don't be coming here bringing me. Whoa, 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 wh
Oh my god, my is coming. My is coming, you have to go. What? My is coming. I don't want to put more on the floor. What? No, I don't want it. I don't want it. Go. Don't. Hey. Joe, who did you kill? Huh? Who did you kill? Don't look at me like that. Or you want to kill me too? Are you killing anybody? Am I killing? You think I'm deaf? I just heard you telling the came now about you guys killing someone. Ujo, I don't believe you. When are you going to tell me about it? You want to start talking? I'll be waiting. Sorry. 7 p.m. Let's do dinner. Okay. See ya. Here. A little business brought me into town and I decided to pay you a surprise visit.
Now you listen. If you ever cut the phone on me again, or ever speak to me in that manner again, you wouldn't know what hits you. Now, Ikena, I want you to call Ujunga as a follow-up to our already made plans. Oh! Are you screaming at me? Oh, but I'm, I'm not screaming. Okay, I'm not screaming, I'm not screaming, huh? I'm not screaming. What do you want me to do? How, what else do you want me to do? I went to her place this morning, I, I tried to talk to her, she refused to speak to me. What else do you want me to do? What? Listen, I don't know who you are, but I beg you, why don't you just cut out this whole, this game you're playing? Tell me how much you want. Any amount, alright? Tell me, I'll, I'll get the money, I'll look for the money, give it to you, you take it, buy anything you want, get yourself a car, whatever, just, just leave me alone, please, I beg you, leave Who do you even think you are to, 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 to cut the phone on me? Huh? Huh? You think you're a man? Whoever you are, you, you think you're a man? Why don't you just come on, show your face, let me, let me put some holes into you, to your bloody face! Maji, right? Yes. Yeah, I heard about his sad death. We have every reason to believe that his death wasn't cut related. And we appreciate any help in terms of uh, information and direction. Is there anything you have to tell me about him? I didn't really know much about him, not until after his death. What's the general view of students about his death? Nothing much. They just think it's a normal casualty, or rather the usual casualty of cold wars. Melly, you have every right not to talk to me. You're justified to walk me out of your room right now. I've been a certified jackass. But I really need your help on this. If there is any little information you have or had somewhere, please, I beg of you, I really do need your help now. I, I don't really have anything, but I can help with some snippets of information. Well, it's... Shouldn't have done what you did with Ujuma. What? She told me everything, so don't even feign ignorance. Mm -hmm. Everything? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right then. So? So? Listen to me. I'm not here to judge either of you, but I need you to know that Ujuma and I are friends and we look out for each other. We you did put her in a very dangerous position. Stop, stop telling me to, to calm down. Just, just, just hear me. Just listen. What happened was an accident. All right? It was an accident. We didn't mean it to happen that way. I beg you. I beg you in the name of God. Between us, don't let anyone else hear about it. Alright? 
You need to understand the importance of her. No one will hear about it. But if you get her pregnant again, I will make sure she doesn't go for an abortion. How could you even do that? You won't kill another baby, but if she tries to, I will tell everybody about it. And you know, send him for that matter. I'm not joking, I'm serious. Have I made myself? Of course. Fine. Me, I won't do it again. Hello? Ikenna? Ikenna, what's going on? You came home, and before I knew it, you had left in a hurry. I have been trying to reach you on the phone, but your line has not been connecting. Ikenna, is everything all right? Oh, forgive me, Dad. I'm very sorry about the way I left. Oh yeah, I, I got an urgent call about some stuff people I'm doing with my, my group mates, so I, I just I just have to leave. No, that it was not intentional. School work, you know how it is. School work. Look, Dad, what I'm trying. Dad, I'll make it up to you, okay? All right, thank you. Bye. Ah, ah, hello. Hello, Ikenna. Hello, Ikenna. I... <sighs> what on earth is going on? I'm sorry I was rude to you this morning. It's just that the pressure of this whole thing is really getting at me. It's alright. It's alright. Like I told you, I'm working on it. And when the right time comes, we'll go to the police and ease the burden off our hearts. Uh, what about his fellow cultists? You said they'll kill us. Yeah, that's why I said I'm working on it. When the right time comes, they will believe our story, okay? They'll see that, so like an accident. Nobody will kill us. Yeah, fair enough. So, what was it you were saying in the morning? I need a bottle of star and a packet of cigarettes. Benson precisely. Get 
there's a guy I'm looking for. I don't know whether you've seen him around. What is the name? Uh, the name is Doozy. Uh, uh, he usually comes around. No, I've not seen that. Okay, now. Uh, what of uh, Chema? Chema. He usually come here to buy some drinks. There's so many people coming here to take some drinks, but I don't know the drinks will Okay, okay. I just want to scream. You want to scream? Why? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, I want to scream. I, I want to scream and let everybody know that I have declared my love for you on this day in years to come. Oh, yes. So I want to scream and get the attention. No, <laughs> don't do that. You're not crazy and don't be crazy now. Alright, I'm no. not crazy, I'm not gonna be crazy now. So can I ask you? No! Thank you! No! 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 no. Listen! No, Everybody, I love her! I love her so much! Shh, shh. Don't do that! What is wrong with you? I don't know. I love you. <laughs> Believe me, I really love you. You love me? Yes, I love you. I love you so much. Look, I, I, I understand. Um, you, you don't have to tell me right now that you love me. Okay, I know it has to grow. So I'm gonna give you time, all right? But truth is, I do love you. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll think about it. All right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, whoa, 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 whoa. One more thing, one more thing. Can we do dinner? Hmm? Oh, you want me to scream about it? No, no, oh, no, 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 no. Everybody listen to me. I love this beautiful woman so much. She is driving me crazy. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll do dinner with you, but on one condition. Okay, me too. No more accidents. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Alright, fine. Alright, fine, fine. I promise. I'm going to what? What? I'm well, leaving. I'm embarrassed here. God, you don't leave me like that. You still want me to scream? No. Why well, no? I'm falling here. Jemma, I heard that you're my Jay's ex. Please, where are you? You don't need to know who I am. McJay was our boy and so important to us that an XYZ like me had to come down to investigate and met out appropriate punishment for the perpetrator. I don't know anything about his death. Please, I seriously don't want any troubles. We will not spare anybody that has a hand in his death and we will equally reward anyone that helps us in our investigation. Do you have anything to tell me, or do I assume you're against us? God forbid. I can't be against you. Good. So do you have anything to tell me? Well, I don't know if this will mean anything to you, but... You know something, Kani? The Bible talks about the sweetness of wine. And victory is as sweet as wine. Even when you hurriedly get it, you need to relax, savor it, enjoy it. Just like we enjoy wine. <laughs> Why the sudden change of mind? Her life could be in danger in that school, yet you choose to leave her there. 
after I have um, finished all the preparation for her to school in the UK. Connie, she's my daughter. And I know her too well. You see, she might be as sweet as wine. But she can be as stubborn as a male. Anyhow, Sydney called me to tell me that things are already heating up between the Prince and her. Well, for her sake, we could have found a less risky way of matchmaking them. <laughs> Caddy, you're not thinking of going to see the king himself. Because if you are, then you are a very big moron. It won't work. If my daughter that I know gets the slightest suspicion of matchmaking in this, then everything we have worked for will go down the drain. My distinguished senator, if you can see the king against his will, I believe you can make him do whatever you want. Visit to the palace. It will take a little more than persuasion for the king to see me again. Much less talks about us being in loss. You are there, sir. You are there. So you know what we're going to do? Let us concentrate on the youngsters. Let us keep working on them. Very soon, every piece of the puzzle will fall in place when they fall in love. So that's the game. You're learning in the job. Yes, I believe you. I'm learning now. Yeah. <laughs> so, the issue is that everybody in the school believed that Mark was a cultist. And for that, nobody is ready to volunteer any information. Yes, sir. They said that since he was killed by uh, a rival court group, that uh, anybody that tries to volunteer any information stands a risk of being hunted down too. Yes, sir. So I'm making an arrangement for a, a phony government uh, party and I'm working on a girl that is going to bring the senator's daughter into the party and uh, she becomes our mate once she steps into the venue. Yes sir. <laughs> so you have to believe me. Just believe me. Everything is going to work as I planned. Thank you sir. Thank you sir. Why are you playing outside dressed up like that? I don't even know. You don't even know? Let's just say I'm still making up my mind whether to just go out or go back to sleep. Well, if you are thinking of taking yourself out, I know you so much. Nothing good is going to come out of me. So please go inside and catch some sleep. Well, Charity, actually, Someone was supposed to come and take me out, but it has passed our agreed time. And I don't want to call him on the phone, so I won't sound any alarm of desperation or something. Ha, huh. that is not nice of him, you know. But go inside and sleep. Well, that won't be nice of me either. 
Yeah, let's go inside and sleep. Okay. Try to do no words. Since I'm already dressed up to go out, I have two choices to make. Either to go back to sleep or go out. And I choose going out so you can go back to sleep while I go out. See you in the morning. How did you get into my house? Don't you think you are actually biting more than you can chew? You don't want to know how I got into your room. And as for biting more than I can chew, let's leave it for another day. Oh, right. so what now? Am I supposed to thank you for returning my ID card? Yeah. I must say that you really had fun today. I mean, it wasn't even difficult for you to get her to fall in love with you. <laughs> you are natural, boy. You are too natural. But you know one thing, you must have to keep things the way they are right now. They must continue to remain like this. Listen, I have done everything you asked me to do. Don't you think it's high time you did just one thing for me? One, leave me alone, please. You might be tempted to, you know, talk back at me right now or even act uh, inappropriately because you have your ID card now. But one thing I must let you know is that if I were you, I would even tread more carefully because you can now, uh, I can still squeeze your ball anytime. Get that into your head. Babes, before 
Why you fly over the moon? <laughs> is it the part I told you about that's getting me so excited? Oh hell no! So? Because I'm not seeing you like this in donkey years. What went down? Ike. Ike is such a sweet, nice guy. Yeah, he is. And you know what? I haven't had this much fun in a long, long time. I'm glad they have fun. Seriously. Yeah. Come sit and tell me all about it. You've been dating him secretly. How come you didn't know he's this sweet? Well, it's like you said. Secret love. Secret love is shit, you know. There's nothing as fulfilling as declaring love for each other in public. I tell ya. I know what they say about making up after a quarrel. So tell me, girl, did you do like? Get out! I'm not telling you that. You trust me? I'm your friend. You know you are such a sport. Oh, tell me, I'm not, I'm not telling you. That's not fair. I'm not telling. Even if we did, this is none of your business. Well. This is just like they do it in the movies. Mm. You know, the boy saves girl from danger, and next thing you know, they're in love. <laughs> so, in this situation, who saved who? 